speaks only so many times that they can spin, you know, like a contact with someone who speaks Russian into a national scandal. Um, the Steele dossier that can't like, like in the same way that, you know, that the British dossier before the Iraq war, there was, you know, Bush and Blair cited this British intelligence dossier about Iraqi WMDs. In the same way, this British Steele dossier, you know, it, it's, it, they can't keep this going. Like if you read through it, you know, put aside the P tape and, um, uh, and put aside the fact that it claims that like Putin has been cultivating Trump since he was hosting The Apprentice. <laughs> so like Putin is such a genius that when Trump was hosting The Apprentice, Putin had, Putin had the prescience to foresee a, a future U.S. president who could sow divisions in the Western order. It's literally what it says, that Putin has been cultivating Trump to sow divisions in the Western order. So put aside that. You know, but it says stuff like Jill Stein is a Russian agent. It says that, um, you know, but, but, but yeah, like what I want to say about it, there's all these specious claims. But you know what? If you look at it, everything it says is based off of information after it was publicly reported. And not necessarily publicly reported in the Western media, but I think the reason, part of the reason why Steele has gotten away with it is because he probably had, he, had, he doesn't speak Russian. And by the way, for this report, he didn't go to Russia himself. I know. He, he hasn't been there in over like 15 years. So I think he, had, whatever, he paid some people who read the Russian newspapers and they told him about things like Carter Page going to Moscow, about Putin being in a certain town. And then from that, every single time something is reported in the media afterwards is when Steele talks about it. Steele doesn't mention George Papadopoulos or this professor, George Papadopoulos, apparently spoke to Joseph Massoud. There's nothing in there, uh, as far as I know, that, um, that comes out before it was publicly known. So, you know, I don't think they can keep going forever. I think it's going to be interesting to see how, whether there's going to be accountability, whether all the pundits on MSNBC are going to own up to spending a year on the most, you know, like on a conspiracy theory, basically, and not on the actual issues of, of what Trump is doing. Um, and so it's going to be, and it'll be interesting to see how all the Democratic, all, all the Democrats who've staked their political existence on this, how they handle it, like how they pivot. I hope there's enough time left before the midterms.